With Halloween coming up next week, many will spend the weekend getting decorations and costumes just right. And while it is a fun candy filled holiday, it can also be dangerous. Yeah, health reporter Stephanie Stahl with a warning from doctors. Steph. That's right, guys. You know, the biggest danger for children associated with Halloween comes from cars, but costumes can also cause all kinds of injuries. One family in Mullica Hill, New Jersey, wants to warn others about the dangers of candles. <laughs> No signs of the horror that Jared Callen lived through. The 10-year-old is busy enjoying his backyard with no worries about Halloween, even though a Halloween accident nearly killed him. A candle was on the table and I was reaching over it, and that's how I caught fire. It was three years ago he was dressed like a mummy when the candle flame ignited his costume. He was worried about the house catching fire and people not being able to get out of the house. So he went outside. He had just learned in school about stop, drop, and roll. Um, so he knew to do that. With second and third degree burns on 35% of his body, mom remembers the ambulance ride. In the same breath that he asked if he can go trick or treating, he also asked if he was gonna die. So that was really, really hard. Um, you know, because he was still a kid, but then here he is, you know, worried about his life. Jared eventually ended up at St. Christopher's Hospital for Children, which recently became the only dedicated and verified pediatric burn center in the region. Managing pain in smaller children can be very challenging. Dr. Brooke Berkey says the pediatric burn center is specially equipped to treat children. Distractions are important. It is especially decorated for children to make them more comfortable. This is a new mural that we just had done. Fun murals are everywhere, including in the hydrotherapy room where the burns are cleaned. So kids are getting cleaned up and washed off in here, but also can be distracted with the seal. Exactly. You can attack. Jared, back to enjoying games, spent almost a month at the hospital, a little boy who learned a very grown-up lesson about Halloween. Children are at Halloween excited. They're often eating a lot of candy and bouncing all over the place. And if you have open flame candles or lanterns around, uh, certainly that's going to be a risk for catching something on fire. And no, Jared isn't afraid of Halloween. Like any other kid, he enjoys all the candy. This year, he'll dress up as a dinosaur. <laughs> practicing his dinosaur <laughs> roar. Now, Jared had a series of skin grafts and is now completely healed. His mom says they are grateful for all the support they got from the community and especially at the hospital. When we were talking to Jared about Halloween and trick-or-treating, he says, I'm not missing out on all that candy. No, <laughs> exactly. He's getting his next costume ready. Yeah. yeah. yeah what a but, sweet guy. Yeah, what he really is guy. adorable. And the work they did for him at St. Chris was just remarkable. Wow. Thank you for that story, Steph. Mm -hmm.